Hi everyone, so this is a really quick video uh, for some new paints that I got recently and I wanted to share with you me testing them out and uh, kind of the process I go through when I choose a paint. So I use a lot of um, Daniel Smith uh, watercolors. They're a professional grade watercolor and this is just one of the sample sheets that I kind of use to test out what colors I want to get next, which ones I like. I need to go through and check off which ones I have so that way I don't accidentally buy multiples because they have such a huge selection that I go to the store and I get like this like color craze and I'm like oh I want all the colors but you know they last for so long that getting multiple tubes is kind of it's a little pointless because I've never gone through a full tube yet but anyway that's beside the point uh, for right now I'm going to focus on these two colors and they happen to be on this sample sheet that I got a while ago. You can see I have the Duo Seguro Green right now, but these two that I'm going to test out are the Iridescent Sunstone and the Iridescent um, Copper. So, and yeah, actually, if you want to test these out, I think this page oh, it was like $6 maybe for one of these pages. And if you want to test out a professional watercolor, these are so excellent. And there's enough paint on here. You can make a small painting practically. So I definitely recommend trying that out. Um, you can just order those. I think on dickblick.com. I go there a lot for a lot of my watercolors and art supplies. So let's take a look at these two paints. And what I have is I've got these little trays. My watercolor palette uses these trays. Um, I just put the paint inside of here and then let them dry and that way I can bring them around with me everywhere and I've made out two of them. I always label because sometimes it's hard to tell which one's which, especially like these two. They're going to be so close together. So you label them out. So I'm going to go ahead and fill these trays. So there's copper. Ooh. This is the first time I'm opening these two. so. You guys get to experience this along with me. <laughs> All right, so just fill it. Oop. Got one. I didn't have small tubes of these, so I got the big ones. I'm not too mad about it because I like shiny things and I have a feeling I'm going to use these a lot, especially with the painting I've got planned once my my artboards get in. Oh, oh. <laughs> that one exploded just a little bit. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to the sink with this one later. clean it up because if I leave the paint in there and stick it on there the lid probably will be pretty difficult to remove that's, that's pretty good for now though I can finish filling it and watercolors for those curious are completely fine to let dry because they reconstitute pretty well um, so if you come across like a tube of watercolor that's been dried out, you can cut it off and just get, as long as you can get the paint out of there, it's still perfectly fine to use even once dry. Just one, one of my favorite reasons uh, I like to use watercolor. All right, there we are. So these, um, once I'm done testing them, I'll be putting them into this tray. Let's see, two spots. Ready to go. Okay, so since I've got the sunstone already on my brush, we'll test that one first. So we'll put that at the top. Uh, these black marks here, it is a Sennelier Indian ink, and this is waterproof, so that way I can show you what this looks like over the top of something black like this, and then we'll fade it out. Let's 
get closer for you guys. Right in there. Hopefully that's focused. Looks okay. Gosh, this is so pretty. So I'm noticing, at least right away, that it looks a very light gold over the black. And it turns a little bit coppery once you pull it out across the white. And all I'm doing is adding more and more water to the brush. We'll see what it's like when it's very light. I can see the little specks of the metallic um, particles in there. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. This is very pretty, you guys. So one of the paintings I'm thinking about using the sun is has a phoenix in it. And I think this would look very pretty on the original, especially. And of course, when I make my limited edition prints, I use the same type of paint on there. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell how gold this looks over here. It's a very yellow gold. Very pretty color. And it kind of gets right down here with a lot of water. It almost looks very peachy. Just like this very light peach color. That's really pretty. All right, let's do the next one. Iridescent copper. I need to get some of the water off my brush so I can get paint on there. I normally don't use paint right out of the tube like this. I purposely let it dry, but oof, cause we, can, we can sure get a lot of it on there. Norm, you don't use watercolor usually this thick, but so that way you can see like just the pure color. Wow. That is rich. Copper is a very earthy color, which I absolutely love. That reddish tint to it. The reddish hue. Okay. So the copper I've noticed on the black versus on the white the color itself doesn't quite change. It's not like it's not like the sunstone where it's a more yellow gold up here and it's more of a peachy um, brown gold on this side. This one is pretty consistent. Both will have excellent uses though in my paintings. I am quite satisfied. camera armor doesn't want to stay up very well. There we go. Very cool. Okay. That is it, you guys. Thanks for watching, um, and I look forward to using these in the next painting. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!